Hey everybody, John Story here with Jazz Memes and continuing on our odyssey with chord melody and learning how to become better chord melody guitarists. Let's talk about some drills that we can do and use our comprehensive PDF uh, to learn more about the 251, ways to play the 251, and why playing certain chords together helps us become better chord melody players. So what is a 251? Just to review, it's a harmonic progression of three chords which consists in a key of its second chord. In the case of the key of C, that would be D minor, the five, G seven, and the one, C, C major seven. Let's listen to those three chords again. Now let's use a different voicing for that. How about a D minor nine, G 13, and a C major seven. So let's figure out how to play these three chords short and separate of one another first. And at this tempo, one, two, three, four. Again. How about another key? Let's go up to the key of D major. So for us guitarists, we're going to go up a couple frets, play the same chord shapes. For other instruments, we're going to think of everything a whole step higher. So instead of D minor, E minor. Instead of G7, A7. And instead of C major, D major. Now that we've got the basic chord shapes down and we can get them separate from one another, let's find ways that we can sustain the chords so that for us guitarists it sounds more like the guitar is a piano where we're actually holding notes as we're transitioning from one chord to the next. If I look on the fretboard here, I'm playing basically most of my strings. I'm playing for this first D minor 9 chord, if we're going back to our original key. I'm on the fifth string, the fourth string, the third string, and the second string. So let's pick the second string. I'm going to try to keep that as sustained as possible. And I'm going to connect the note and the finger that I'm playing on the second string into the next chord. It's going to sound like this. experiment with some different rhythms with that note. In the right hand, I'm actually using my pick and I'm using some fingers too. You can do it all with the pick. For guitar, again, you know, we're thinking about chords as groups. We've got these two five ones. We're starting on the fifth string. In terms of this D minor nine, its root is on the fifth string. This G chord, the root is on the sixth string. And then we go to a C major where the root is on the fifth string. So I'm calling that a fifth string two five one. Fifth string in essence meaning that we're starting these chords with a chord that has its root on the fifth string of the guitar, right? And if we think about a sixth string 251, then we find a group of three chords in which the first chord, our two chord, starts with its root note on the sixth string. So let's take a look at a G major 251. A minor, D7, and G major 7. Let's play those short. A one, two, three, four. and separated. Just comping with a good time feel right now as best I can. Right? Now let's do the next part of the exercise. We're going to pick a string. Let's pick our highest string. In this case, the second string has uh, the highest note of these chords. And I've got this one. And I'm going to maybe play a D9 instead of the D7 to keep that note there. And then I'll resolve it down to this. So the goal is going to be to keep that top note sort of being sustained or being articulated between the chords. I'm using my pick for 
for that. Uh, maybe I'll try using the pick only for the bass and then these fingers here for that note. It's okay if you hit another string. <laughs> So we can practice that in a variety of keys. Let's do three different two five ones that are fifth string two five ones. We'll do the key of C, the key of E flat, and the key of F. One, two, a one, two, three, four. some six string ones. Let's do the key of G, A, and B flat. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. So, in sum, our two five ones are really, really great to practice when we're working on chord melody. Sometimes it just helps to remove yourself from learning all the standards and all the repertoire and just practice a group of chords together. And on an instrument like guitar, you know, finding voicings that you like playing that are easy for you to transition from one to the next in the left hand, and then working on controlling your right hand with either a pick or pick and fingers to get um, one of the notes on top to be sustaining. So it almost sounds like a piano player who's playing chord and melody here on the right hand. Thanks for joining me.